get excited guys today i have a what i eat in a week video for y'all but there's a bonus to this i have collaborated with other large families that are here on youtube and they have also made a what we eat in a week video and so i'll have a playlist down in the description so that you can go check them out if you're new to my channel i want to welcome you and ask you to subscribe to my channel by clicking the red button down there without further delay let's just jump into what we ate this week today we're gonna to be cooking chicken over white rice with cheese and some seasonings so let's just get started we are going to wash the rice first this is jolina my nine-year-old she is learning how to cook so i have her here in the kitchen with me and i am training her she already knows how to make rice uh, because we constantly have rice cereal in the morning for breakfast, but she's a trooper. She does really good in in cooking and in the kitchen in general. I'm really proud of her and the progress she has made. I'm going to season one side and then the other. Now this seasoning is a garlic sea salt, which just means it has everything I need. <laughs> um, I could put pepper on this too or other seasonings, but I'm just going to do this because it's easy. I forgot to add the oil, so I'm adding it after I've added the seasonings and I add a little more. And this is the back of the chicken and I'm adding the oil first and then the garlic salt that I was using. I'm gonna bake it in the oven. I'm gonna split half of this rice into each pan. One of these pans. You're okay. I decided to go ahead and make two pans of this, one for the freezer and then one for us to eat immediately because I thought it would be really nice to have a second meal made from one meal. So yeah, and now I'm just dicing up our chicken and I'm going to throw that into both of those pans and I tried to make one with milk to keep the rice moist when I put it in the oven to bake and topped it with cheese. And the next one, I did it a little bit different and I added sour cream. And I can tell you that the one with sour cream was by far way better than the one with the milk. The rice still kind of dried out in the oven. So next time when I put these types of meals together, I will definitely be adding sour cream and not the milk. That way the whole thing stays nice and moist because let's be honest, nobody likes dried rice. But anyways, after I have the sour cream in here and even with the milk, I just mixed everything together and I topped it with a ton of cheese. I think that made this recipe even better by just having that extra cheese on top of this. All right, this is dinner. <laughs> For dinner, we're having beef with gravy over rice with some steamed green beans and the rice is cooking in the instant pot in here i have some beef broth with three tablespoons of some potato starch and inside of the meat we already have some garlic salt seasoning and we're just going to let this come to a simmer and thicken and wait for the green beans to get nice and tender and then we will eat dinner's already we have our rice green beans and the meat. The meat's supposed to go on top of the rice. rice. We were really busy on Wednesday night, so I did not pick up the camera and record, but this is some of the amazing homemade bread that Jocelyn put together. It's just French bread and she smothered it with butter. And I made a spaghetti squash with some meat and marinara sauce. The kids had some spaghetti and I made the spaghetti squash. And other people brought over some food too, which was other forms of spaghetti and salad and some tea. And so that was our Wednesday. For this meal, I tried to make it really simple. And so all I did was basically use a seasonal seasonings on my chicken legs and bake them in the oven until they came out nice and crispy. Dinner is all ready. Here we have the rice cooking. 
this is my daughter Jocelyn. She's 15 years old and quite often she helps make dinner and so do a lot of my other kids. We all rotate kind of and take turns or just help out wherever help is needed. Now this dinner that I am making, I got it off of Pinterest and I'm often looking for ideas to help me to figure out something really simple, easy and quick to make. And it basically you just take chicken and you dice it into long strips and make some tenders and I'm using chicken breast here. And then we just seasoned it with salt and pepper and then we are going to eat this with some barbecue sauce but basically you're making chicken tenders with barbecue sauce and you just make them in the oven and then we're also having a side of a medley vegetable mix that we have and i love this with coconut oil and salt only it does not need anything else it comes out tasting really great and here's our dinner and dinner is ready Y'all are going to have to forgive me. I totally forgot about recording our dinner. So I'm just going to share with y'all what we are having. This is lasagna soup. And so basically you make the sauce and the meat together. And then you put the noodles in after they're cooked. And then garnish it. For dinner tonight, we forgot to take out the chicken early enough. So it's still semi-frozen. But you can actually cook this in an instant pot. Jocelyn put it in the instant pot for me. And we're going to cook it. This is in my first rodeo. We've had to do this many times because we forget to take out the meat and the Instant Pot is amazing for that. So if you don't have one and you're looking for a good reason to get one and you have a lot of kids and you need to feed a lot of people and you want nice tender meat, that's the perfect reason to go ahead and get one. We're also gonna be having some baked potatoes for our side. Dinner is ready. Here are the green beans, the chicken, and the baked potatoes. And we're gonna top our baked potatoes with sour cream, cheese, salt, pepper, and butter. This is what the kids are having for dinner. We made some rice, mushroom chicken gravy, and some green beans on the side. It tastes super good, it was super easy. Thanks for watching, I hope you feel inspired after watching this video. Don't forget to check out the other channels that are linked down in the description and subscribe to those channels and mine if you're new here. If you enjoyed this video, also don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you on my next video guys, take care.